Hi everyone, it's Chan. Um, today I wanted to stop by and share with you a um, project I have created for a friend. Um, a while back, um, my friend Barb, who's Scrapping Barbie here on YouTube, um, had sent me some um, cassette, cassette cases um, to alter because we had both seen people alter them for stick pin holders and both of us wanted to give it a try so she had sent me a couple that she had found um, and so I finally finally got around to attempting this it's also my first time I've ever made stick pins I really really love how this turned out so I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I created <clears throat> let's see if I can zoom in Okay, so um, the paper line that I had used for this, I absolutely love. I'm in love with this paper. Um, it is by Wild Rose Studio Letters from Paris. Um, so I went ahead and layered that to um, the top here, here, uh, the back sorry and also um, sorry about that also the inside of the case which you will see shortly and then after I had laid down the papers um, I had taken um, a printable sheet and these are from Lulu Design Art on um, is that Etsy and I just love 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 the images on here so I went ahead and used one of the images right here inside the frame and this frame was um, given to me by Julie hi Julie um, thank you so much and it was um, I believe bronze and these corner pieces here were silver and those are just the little corner pieces from I believe it's recollections um, comes in this packaging right here from Michaels um, <clears throat> so I went ahead and heated those up and then put white embossing powder over both of those to alter them um, to make them match and also to go better with the paper line and then I added three little or four little um, little porcelain flowers right here so I love how that turned out here and here um, I went ahead and used trim from Natasha's scrapbooking corner scrapbook corner um, love 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 this and I actually I'm almost out and so I need to order some more but um, so I went ahead and layered that and I had um, used a stamp and white embossing powder to put to my friend here and then I just used some of this um, what is this this little trim here the butterfly trim and just added a couple of um, white recollection pearls I didn't have any in the color pink that I wanted so I went ahead and um, colored those with my Copic markers on the outside here, um, uh oh, okay. So on the outside here, I used this uh, box pleated trim that's also from Natasha's store, and then some. This is actually regular pearl trim because I didn't have enough of the flat back to go around it, but that was picked up. I believe I ordered it um, online through Hobby Lobby. So then when you open it up, this flips around and it'll sit up like this and I just love how that turned out um, up here I used some more of that uh, flat back pearl trim from Natasha's store added some lace here with some more of those flowers and these are the stick pins that I had created and um, these three are actually stick pins and then these two are like the little 
Um, actually, these four are like the little sewing pins that you, you know, put in your material to make sure it doesn't slip around. So I went ahead and used those for the smaller ones, and then again, um, used Copic marker to color the um, beads on the top. And then these pearls and um, beads I had in my stash. The spacer beads I had received from Lily, as well as um, this rose right here. And then actually the pin itself, um, these three pins itself also came from Lily. Hi Lily, thank you. And then this little um, bird here, hummingbird here, was gifted to me from Julie. So um, I really, really, really love how this turned out. I'm super excited. I hope she likes it. And um, anyway, I believe that's all there is to it. So I hope you all have a wonderful and beautiful day. And hope you have an amazing week next week. And I will be back soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.